Howdy guys, I'm back again, and uh, yeah, it's been a while since I put anything up on this channel. That's not because I haven't wanted to, there's been various uh, things that I can control and that I can't control for why I haven't put anything up. Um, chiefly, first, the first reason I stopped putting things up was because, um, uh, Hurricane Sandy came through. Okay, I don't care about that. Hurricane Sandy came through, and if you didn't know, I lived on the coast of New Jersey, and we got hit pretty hard. Thankfully, my house is fine. Um, I'm about, yeah, quarter mile, maybe a little less from the, uh, beach. Uh, yeah, we had, like, four feet of water across our entire property, but it never went into our house was centimeters away um but yeah I should be thankful for that and after we got power back um I went on Newegg first of all and I've been planning on getting a new computer for for well for a while um and um, I went on just to see if they had any Black Friday things or anything it just so happened the day I went on that they had basically everything I was getting for my computer on sale just for that day so I was happy and I got my new computer um here's pictures I have these all set up let me see if I have one of these is all the parts lined up I could list them all off but okay here um where'd this open up yeah, this is everything that's in uh, my computer. Uh, just standard Antec power supply, uh, an ASRock uh, Extreme 3 motherboard. Um, then the good stuff here, uh, the standard disk drive, uh, hard drive, RAM. Um, but the good stuff is I got a uh, Intel uh, Core i5 3570K. Uh, and K being the unlocked model, and the, for the graphics card, I got a uh, Radeon 7870. Um, I got an FXX1. I don't know if I just said that right. It's so hard to say. It's like a tongue twister with a double. Uh, what is, is it? Disparation or something like that. DD double disparation. I think is what it is. It has something to do with the cooling. Um, I don't want to bore you with details like that. And then just some. They're miscellaneous SATA cables, and then the case is right there. Um, but yeah, let's get on to the main purpose of this uh, video right here. Wasn't a bore, that was just a quick channel update. But I decided that well, I hit a thousand views a while ago, and I haven't put up anything uh, since then. I wanted to put up a bucket server when I hit a thousand views. And I got working on that immediately. I thought it would be really awesome. And I got the spawn set up and everything. But I don't have any like. Um, any like signs up or anything. And then I just completely stopped working on it for a while. Um, I think I got like a game or something. That got me really distracted. Um, and then we lost power and such for like what two you know, we would lost power for 13 days we we're without power for 13 days so i couldn't have worked on that then but um yeah, yeah i think i lost like two subscribers whatever i'm not it's not a, a huge channel so i don't really care it'll still grow back um yeah so anyway that i was planning on doing but then i realized i'm probably still gonna do this anyway but um i realized that I should do something um, about how to make a bucket server I, because I know there's a ton of tutorials out on how to make one but when I first was trying to make one uh, for my just my friends to play on it was I was so confused even how simple it was and this was a way while ago before I <laughs> it's uh, funny how far I've come with just like technical uh, literacy and uh, computer knowledge in the past like two years um from now just bu finish building a, a computer but yeah i remember how confusing and frustrating that was and about like plugins and stuff and what the good ones are how to set things up how to use permissions that's a big one that i 
that a lot of people have trouble with. So I thought, um, why not do a just beginning to finish tutorial series on setting up a bucket server, um, plugins you should get, and just go through the guide that I went through and I do whenever I'm making a server. And my back is hurting because I'm like leaning down with my chair in a weird position, so let me reposition myself. Hold on. <sighs> Ooh, that's a lot better. Okay, um, so yeah, this, I just opened up the server files for my server. Um, don't be overwhelmed by this, it's simple, and I just wanted to show you what it will look like when it's finished. Actually, I'll probably advance further than what this is here. So let me duplicate this and clear everything out. I don't know why I'm, I'm doing this like this, but I just don't want I guess I just didn't want to make a folder. I have no clue why I did this. Um, and then um, I'm just going to clear everything out because I want to start from the beginning. Um, maybe not. Yeah, yeah, I'll just clear out in it everything um and I'll rename it something um, like there we go and um once you have your folder you didn't have to like copy a folder like that I just did that once you have your folder made and this would this whole tutorial is the same for Windows and Mac and Linux except there's a little problem starting it on Linux. I've had problems with uh, doing it, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but you should be probably more advanced if you're using Linux. But um, I have a Windows computer and it works just the same. In fact, this had, if you saw this, had a dot .bat and I was r always running this and working on it in my Windows partition on my Mac and just brought it over because when I got my gaming PC I don't need that anymore. Um, but yeah, the first thing you'll want to do is, and I'll have links to it in the description, I'm just doing it here because I didn't do that. Um, let's, you'll have to search bucket on Google. You will, Again, I'm just doing this because I wasn't smart and didn't have this all laid out in uh, the future. Um, but yes, here is bucket.org. It is everything basically is set up around that. I don't know why I'm, I'm getting like lag scrolling. I've had a problem with that with Safari recently. Don't know what it is with it. Um, but yeah, you'll want to go here and you'll want to download whatever is the most recent build, um, for your version of Minecraft. Um, now, one thing to notice is that if there's a new version of Minecraft that just came out, right there may not actually be the best place to get it. And, um, like if I go here and click on it, this is for 1.3.2. There hasn't been a full version recommended build out for 1.3.2. So in that case, what you'll have to do is you'll have to go to, uh, beta builds, um, and you'll have to find your version here, like this is pr what I'm going to get. Um, if it just came out, um, and if you're lucky that they have um, come out with a craft bucket already for that uh, version, um, and there's no beta builds for it, there may be one in development builds. Um, as in right here, this is a newer version, but it's in development, so it's a little less stable, but... If you really want a bucket server, that works, and, there, and it may crash some, but it will most likely work. Now, anyway, that's how you get bucket that, um, I took a while explaining that, and this I can just minimize now. And I can open this back up, and what you'll want to do is just drag it right on in here. And this is the craft but this is what runs the server now you can't just double click on this even though it's a dot jar because by default if there's a dot jar um if java if, if it's just running in it because there's ways to make it run it, it, there's complicated ways to do things but just for our intents and purposes um this will the, by uh, this dot jar if I start it now, will only w run with a quarter of a gigabyte 
of RAM, and that will be quite limiting to it, and you'll want to launch it uh, with more than that, unless you want to launch it with less, um, but I still recommend doing what I'm doing, but what you'll want to do now is once you have this downloaded, you'll want to just delete this part at the end and just rename it craftbucket.jar like that, it should be pretty simple, and then what you'll want to do is click on get craft bucket here this will be here like I said and you'll click on whatever operating system you're gonna be running the server on whatever you're on now actually in fact because you can I will eventually run this on a Linux server that I've downstairs but I'm running it on this now so I shouldn't have said that but you'll wanna just click on what you have what operating system you have if you don't know what operating system you have if you have an Apple computer, it's Mac OS X. And if you don't have an Apple computer and you don't know what an operating system is, you ha most likely have Windows. I would highly doubt you would have Linux unless you knew you had Linux. Um, but I'm on Mac, so I would click here. And you follow the instructions. We already did this. What you want to follow for all of these is creating the startup script and I will demonstrate that right now for Mac. Um, it, it will be very similar for Windows and Linux, and in fact it will be more similar to this on Linux than Windows, but it will, you could still follow this, like where's Windows? Yeah, you would have to copy this thing instead of what's down there into Notepad, and you would paste it in there, and th you would follow here on how to save it. Um, but since we're on Mac, we're doing it like this. And on Mac, once you have this pasted and it pasted in, you want to click Make Plain Text. Okay. And then you want to click Save. It's like loading up. Okay. And you want to save this um, in the folder where your server is. And it does matter what it is. This can stay the same don't change this uh, it may break it um, and uncheck this just for safekeeping and save it as launch.com and, and again if you're on Linux you should save it as launch.sh and if you're on Windows launch.bat and then just save it and there you go. Now this is getting quite long, so I'm going to stop this here. But um, next in the next tutorial, I'll teach you how to start the server and uh, get a f get some basic uh, configuration done, and maybe do a plugin. But I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon watching a video. Peace.